Do you recognize this place? Unfortunately, this is our parliament. All of us, including me, believe that we are voting for the right person. Now, if all of our beliefs were right, then our parliament wouldn't have looked like this. So we have to agree that something is wrong somewhere. Contrary to our belief, we are voting for the wrong people. Let's look at how we make our decision to vote. The first type vote based on the religion. I'm Hindu, so I will vote only for this party. I'm Muslim, so I will vote for that party. The second type vote for a particular party because their great-grandfather and father voted for that party. The third type vote based on the party ideology. I'm a communist, I'm a capitalist, liberal, conservative, etc. So I vote for this party or that party. The fourth type are the information gatherers. They sincerely believe that they are independent thinkers and are making the decision based on the best information. They are the ones who say, this party used to be good, but things have changed now. So I will vote for the party that the experts are now saying good for our country. They don't even realize that their likes and dislikes were almost entirely shaped by the media. The fifth type are the people who think and look beyond caste, religion, party ideology and media. They vote for the right individual with right credential who can bring change to their local society. Someone who has ideas, ideals and conviction. So now think which category you actually belong to. There are hundred things that divide us. But in spite of those divisions, all of us want to live in a safe and prosperous country. We want water, electricity, good roads, schools and hospitals, affordable fuel, groceries, etc. If we really want to accomplish these, then we need to come out of our primitive voting process. We need to start looking beyond religion, caste, tradition, party ideologies, PM candidates and even media. It doesn't matter which party you vote for, as long as you vote for the right local candidate. If we have 543 good ministers representing us in the parliament, that will surely bring real positive change in our life. Guys, this time give your vote not to a party, but to the right individual.